What's up? This is Altark here. The Ultra Human Ring Air is a smart ring that is packed with advanced sensors. It tracks movement, sleep, body temperature, and provides a ton of key health metrics like sleep quality, heart rate, heart rate variability or HRV, VO2 max, woman specific metrics, movement patterns, and much more. And I have been using this ring for a good two months or so, and I have got some thoughts. So let's dive in. The Ultra Human Ring Air retails for 349 US dollars and they offer multiple finish options, raw titanium, aster black, matte gray, bionic gold and space silver. The one I have here is the matte gray one which is more like a matte uh, black or like a charcoal color. But their big selling point here is there are no additional subscription fees. So unlike other rings or smart fitness tracking devices out there, there are no other fees to worry about after purchasing your ring. And uh, just a quick note, if you find this video helpful and decide you want to purchase this ring, I'll leave links in the description of this video with a discount code that you can use to purchase this ring. It is my affiliate link and will help the channel. And uh, for my US viewers, this ring qualify for your health saving accounts. So a little bit of a saving for you. Ultra Human claims that Ring Air is the lightest smart ring on the market and it certainly feels that way. This rings come in between 2.4 uh, to 3.6 grams depending on the size you get which is ridiculously light. That's almost half the size of uh, the Aura ring and my ring size is 10 and it comes in at about 3 grams on my food scale which only measures in 1 gram increments. And just for comparison's sake, my wedding ring weighs in at 16 grams. So this thing is extremely light. It is actually impressive to think that they were able to get the battery and multiple sensors that captures movement, data, heart rate and HRV and a temperature sensor inside this thing while keeping it this light. The ring is made from titanium with a tungsten carbide coating to make it scratch resistance. It has a width of uh, 8.1 millimeter and thickness range of uh, 2.5 to 2.55 millimeter. And the inner shelf is very smooth and notchless. And I've got my ring uh, through a lot. I have been wearing it 24 seven basically. I've swam in it, biked, ran, done weightlifting, done home projects, and it still doesn't have a single noticeable scratch that I can see. Now, about charging. The spec says the ring should last between four to six days. And in my experience, it generally lasts about five to five and a half days if I take it all the way down to empty. Generally, you will start to get a notification to charge your ring when it's around 30%. Now, when you order the ring, you will get a sizing kit shipped to you first at no extra cost. Once you confirm your sizing, which you can do using their mobile app, they will ship the actual ring to you. The ring comes well packaged with the Ring Air Night Charger and a USB-C to USB-C cable. And the ring sits on the charger and takes about two to three hours to fully charge. And uh, just a heads up, uh, that light on the charger is always on. And if you put it by your bed, this tiny light is surprisingly bright and if you prefer your bedroom to be completely dark you might find it annoying and uh, just thought I mentioned that. They do recommend wearing this ring on the index finger. You can wear on any other finger uh, if you prefer but the index finger seems to give you the best results per ultra human. So the whole idea with these smart rings is that they offer an unobtrusive way to monitor health and fitness metrics similar to what you get with smart watches like the Apple watch or your Garmin watch or fitness bands like the Whoop bands. But unlike the bulkier watches, smart rings are much lighter and very comfortable for continuous wear even during sleep and I often forget that I am wearing this thing. Now let's talk about what you get from wearing this ring. Wearing the ring itself is only half the experience. The Ultra Human mobile app is the other half and I found it to be well designed and super easy to use. So when you first wake up in the morning and uh, the first thing that you will see is uh, sleep index and recovery score movement index is usually locked that when you first wake up and it will be unlocked after one hour of waking up or 500 steps and uh, you have your stress rhythm, circadian phase, 
and certain recommendations around that. And it's telling me here that I need to delay my stimulant, like coffee, for example, to let residual adenosine uh, clear and heighten the stimulant effect during productivity peak. Any advice or any recommendation that tells me not to drink coffee is usually automatically ignored. So I'm not gonna follow that one. I'm drinking my coffee the first thing in the morning. And moving on, uh, you'll find a number of individual uh, markers such as heart rate, uh, average HRV, VO2 max, and ring battery status. And under each marker, you'll see an index score. And that sleep index, for example, that score is designed to be the key metrics for judging your sleep health. Uh, the higher the score, the better your sleep, and you'll see your time in bed, average HRV, and average heart rate. And the app also highlight different contributors to your sleep and flag areas needing attention. So for example here, in my case, it shows that my heart rate uh, took a while to drop, which is a marker for uh, risk and recovery. And you'll also see some tips on how to improve HR factors. Moving on to the recovery score, and this one provides insight into your body's readiness and recovery state. It is derived from key metrics from your sleep index, such as resting heart rate, HRV, body temperature, and your overall sleep index. And these scores give you an indication uh, on how well your body has recovered from stress and physical exertion. So for example, in my case here, it shows that it is time for me to recharge and I should only do a moderate push today. My HRV is much lower than previous days, so not exactly ideal right before my 90 minute long run. Then moving on to the movement index, this tracks how much and how often you move throughout the day. It's not just about the total amount of movement, but also how regularly you move. So your score is better if you move frequently throughout the day rather than doing one big workout all at once and then sit for the rest of the day, which is typically my problem. I work out the first thing in the morning and then sit down at my office the rest of the day, which is generally not a good thing. Then moving on to the stress rhythm score, which shows your body stress level throughout the day. And this scores helps you understand patterns of stress and recovery and gives you insight into how your body responds to various activities and stressors. And the app will have different recommendations like you see here in my scenario. It detects that I am stressed while recording this video. So it is recommending that I do breathing exercises and they have a library of different breathing exercises you can do pretty cool. I've always said that recording videos is extremely stressful. So there you go, guys. Okay, so moving on to the circadian insights uh, provided by the ring. And this one is interesting. The idea here is to align your daily activities with your body's natural rhythms. So you will get information to the best times for exercise, for example, or best time for eating or drinking coffee and exposure to light and when to start winding down for uh, to get a restful night's sleep. So basically it helps you optimize your daily schedule for better overall health and well-being. And you can set up this notification to appear on your phone lock screen as a widget so you do not have to open the app to see them. And the Ultra Human app connects to a ton of other apps and that's the one most uh, feature that I absolutely love and I'm impressed about. It connects to Strava, Training Peaks, Wahoo, Peloton, Garmin, Zwift, Apple Health, and a ton of others. And if you use Training Peaks, for, like me, for example, it will export those key metrics, HRV, for example, sleep time, and all the sleep details into your Training Peaks, which I find to be very useful. And with these connections, the app will import all your workouts into the app, so it is included in your overall score. So yeah. There are a ton of information and insight that you will find in the app, and the app is just well designed and super easy to navigate. I'm actually impressed by how well designed the app is. So anyway, here's the bottom line. Overall, I really like the Ultra Human Ring Air. It's lightweight, comfortable, form factor is a big win for me. I can wear it all day long and it does not get in the way. And I love that there are no subscription fees, which is a rare thing these days. And the app is fantastic with all the insights it offers, plus the ability to connect to third-party apps like Training Peaks, Garmin, Apple Health, and Zwift is a huge win for me. And uh, for my viewers uh, here in the US, this ring qualifies for your HSA accounts, like I said earlier. So ultimately, you can just reimburse yourself from your health saving account. So yeah, lightweight, 
no subscription fees, and packed with insight, this range really stands out. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share this video with others in your life and do not forget to tap that like button. And if you are still watching but have not subscribed yet, you know what to do. Thanks again, and I'll catch you in the next video.